Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today I will answer two questions in the radio communication field. One, what is modulation? Two, why do we need modulation? Suppose we want to transmit our data signal, such as a conversation over the phone or music from radio stations. We need carrier wave to deliver our data signal. In general, the frequency of a carrier wave is higher than that of a data signal wave. Modulation is a process imposing a data signal wave onto a carrier wave. In other words, modulation is the process of changing some property such as amplitude or frequency of a carrier wave with a data signal wave as an input. Now the second question, why do we need modulation during transmission? Why don't we send a data signal directly? Before we get into technical details, let's talk about an experience which probably everyone has had before. If we try to throw a piece of paper far away from us, the piece of paper would not go too far even if we threw it very hard. However, it would not be difficult to get the piece of paper over a farther distance if we wrap a rock with it and throw them together. Data signal wave is like this piece of paper and the rock is like a carrier wave. Modulation is like wrapping the rock with a piece of paper so that we can throw them together in a way we want. Technically, there's many reasons why we need modulation, but here we only talk about four purposes of modulation. One, data signal wave such as conversation or music is lower frequency signal wave. Lower frequency wave is more susceptible to interference than higher frequency wave. Modulation makes the data signal wave a higher frequency wave. Two, higher frequency wave would have more bandwidth, thus carry more data. Three, lower frequency signals would require a much larger size antenna at the receiving end. Modulation would reduce the antenna size with the increase the wave frequency. Four, security is another reason in many cases. With modulation, data signal is kind of hidden inside carrier wave. In next video, we will talk about two common modulation methods in the radio communication field, AM and FM, how they work and their differences. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.